And this is the match that we were going to talk about. Um, it's Steve Gaylord Peacock taking on Cat Weasel at the Royal Spa Centre in Royal Leamington Spa on the 9th of January 1980. Steve Gaylord Peacock. One of those things you might look at and go, oh, you know, oh, if, if that's hilarious in retrospect. Um, absolutely worth saying at the time we were all very much aware of the meaning of the gay lord yeah. and yeah. it was capitalizing on a gay character steve peacock does not want to go over the top with with being gay mm. i think you know he feels uncomfortable with that he's willing to have it in his name and occasionally he's sort of like i've got brushed hair and everyone's like this guy is screaming he's on he the, combs his hair he's on the wits so they say oh, like, <laughs> like his, his hair is naturally blonde and he trains oh, and it's he- trains with the weights does he does he train with the weights does he, does he train with does the weights i mean i mean because he's looking quite sort of earthworm <laughs> he's um, tiny as well or possibly not is. tiny is cat weasel just very magical and long i don't know i think cat weasel is long but i have a feeling that uh steve peacock is quite short i think he's he's certainly under 510 right. just a quick bio of, of little stevie peacock here mm. he made his way into wrestling following a chance meeting with a wrestler called steve fury while he was working in a black Blackpool Amusement Arcade at very much the time when Blackpool was quite a wrestling hotbed yeah. and so that's how Steve Peacock started but more excitingly he is the first trainer Steve Peacock of William Regal oh. um, Regal called him a brilliant comedy wrestler uh, on Twitter and Peacock died in 2006 and what is funny is when you see this match with Cat Weasel Steve Peacock is also really good at the comedy yeah yeah, the, the, the you... way they get together and, the, and the, they are both on the same page and they are both fucking crisp at it. They are. And Cat Weasel here, I mean, I've. There's a funny thing with Cat Weasel. Good Cat Weasel is great. Yeah. Not good Cat Weasel is some of the worst matches you'll ever see in your <laughs> life. And what this match is, is this is the greatest Cat Weasel match of all time. Yeah. And a lot of that, of course, has to go the credit to his opponent, who is so good with him. You. <laughs> Steve Peacock, a little bit annoyed right from the start. Uh, all right, ref, all right. It starts off immediately. Cat Weasel is like, how many different things can I put in one match? And he basically does a thousand things in this match. It's just <laughs> astonishing. He starts off doing some strutting like Steve Peacock. And <laughs> rather than sort of doing like an effeminate ooh thing, he just mocks him. And it's more strange in a way. You just go, he's sort of doing a little walk. And it's not really derogatory. No. It's just odd that he's copying him. <laughs> it starts off with Cat Weasel every time he throws Steve Peacock. Peacock does a roll to his feet. And then Cat Weasel will grab him, throw him again. He does a roll to his feet. And then Cat Weasel has a go and he rolls and he just lands really badly on his back and his legs go out the ring and you do just go oh pete we're just we're in the hands of a master <laughs> this is perfect um he's a talker as well isn't he Cat oh Weasel. he loves he, li- he get, likes get to have off. a chat get off go, oh my god oh my god he says <laughs> during a test of strength <laughs> the referee cashmere singh yeah. pakistan oh <laughs> Oh, no, no. This boy, known as the Gay Lord, <laughs> um, before gotta... he says, blow this, blow and this. he bites him on the neck, oh, blow this. <laughs> um, there's a lot of howling from the audience in this. It's one of the few times you'll ever hear an audience hoot with laughter. Yeah. There's a, a couple of bits where they absolutely go, Ooh! <laughs> and it's just magic. But what you can hear is you can hear that this is the elderly ladies and the kids who are enjoying this. And what's notable is there's no deep, boomy men's laughter. Mm. This is sort of unimaginable insofar as the men begin to get behind uh, the gay lord. And they begin applauding when the gay lord does well. And you can see there the slight issue with Cat Weasel as a comedy character. Unlike Les Kellett, who everybody adored, Cat Weasel is beginning to divide the room. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank heaven for Steve Peacock's point of view. There's less than a minute to go in this round. Oh, 
<laughs> he does look as well when they do close ups like a bearded lady. <laughs> he's um, <laughs> he's just he just doesn't look like a trad wrestler. No, he looks frightening, and he looks like something that shouldn't be paid to perform. <laughs> um, he does a, a little bit where he t- tickles Gaylord to get out of a full Nelson, and he runs away, mm. and he gets caught in a thing where he goes, "Oh, I've got him!" and then Peacock reverses it. He goes, "Oh, I had him!" <laughs> and there's a little bit where he's doing kip ups, and he'll roll up finally, and he'll be level with Peacock's head, and he goes, "Hello!" and he goes back <laughs> oh, down, yes. and he does it again. And he goes, "Hello again!" <laughs> like that. Uh, people there's a it. lot going on. There's a lot going on. They do. Been, yeah, and and he and he's just I don't know, man. Like <laughs> it's not good stuff. Off, but for bad stuff it's done well if that makes sense isn't it isn't it there's something about the witless family member about him where yeah. peacock grabs one of his legs and he goes watch it i've only got two <laughs> and i thought to myself the number of times i've heard a variation of that line yeah. through my life yeah. you know it just it's so british to its core don't be shy All your mother wasn't that, that stuff like that so <laughs> oh, fuck off <laughs> Just fuck off. Why don't, you, why, don't, why don't you kids fuck off? That's another one. <laughs> uh, Kent Walton is doing his, I'm enjoying this, but I'm aware not everyone will be. Uh, really an extraordinary bout we're starting off with this afternoon, but quite fun nevertheless, he says. Round two, five to go. Well, this is really an extraordinary bout we're starting off this afternoon with, but quite fun nevertheless. Kent is a comedian against new lad Steve the Gaylord Peacock. You get so many bits here. The old leg spread done by the feet. Almost, you know, Cat Weasel just pulling his leg out a bit further. So Peacock has to go a bit further and further. And <laughs> each time it happens, you can see how it's building. There's a wonderful payoff to this bit where Steve Peacock asks to shake hands because he's beginning to overstretch his legs. And Cat Weasel pulls him up, which hurts Peacock even more. And then he drops him down onto his <laughs> ass, which really hurts Peacock. And that was a lovely bit of watching two comedy wrestlers doing a comedy bit. Mm. And the more that I watch this, and he does so much throughout it, when gets Brian Crabtree in between the rounds to press his muscle. And as Brian Crabtree presses it, he goes, oh! Um, <laughs> just everything is a bit. It's exhausting. It's exhausting. <laughs> that is the word. Oh, God. But the bit where he gets his head caught in a head scissors by Peacock <laughs> and his false teeth pop out onto Steve Peacock's chest. <laughs> the- the best bit about it is it cut to a close-up of him sitting in the corner, Cat Weasel, without his teeth in. And he sits there with a look on his face <laughs> of sort of disappointment in himself. <laughs> like, like, he saw the crowd absolutely scandalised. <laughs> and they are reacting like this is the most wonderful thing that's ever happened. A sad Cat Weasel sits there like, you know, I, I said believe. I wouldn't let it happen again. <laughs> it's only gone and happened again. I use um, my steridant glue. Oh, dear. <laughs> Why is a man aged 41 <laughs> got nothing but false teeth? <laughs> it's so... It's just the past another time. <laughs> uh, the best bit, Pete, is the little bit where Peacock stands on Cat Weasel's hand and Cat Weasel yes. reverses it and has his foot on Peacock's hand and Peacock is warming up now <laughs> and he starts going Raf, Raf, Raf he goes Raf, stamp on his foot and the referee stamps on Cat Weasel's foot but Cat Weasel moves it so the referee just stamps on Peacock's it's hand it's brilliant and I thought that was insanely it's great insanely it fantastic was... the referee knew what he was doing I mean it was just great stuff that, that I did not see it coming no. and for a moment I am a 1970s 84 year old woman sitting oh, in that like, crowd yeah, born in the Late 1800s kind of old that lady. That shot. Wow. That shot of that woman <laughs> who is basically a Victorian sitting in the crowd. How is that? Why don't they use that and go, this is the oldest person who was ever filmed on television? Yeah. You know, that is, there's no one older than that old woman they show. <laughs> Peacock, the more this goes on, the more you go. Peacock is so good in this. Yeah. Cat Weasel whips him into one of the turnbuckles and a Peacock stops it, sort of floats out and does a pose. And Cat Weasel does it again. And Peacock looks like he's going to do the same thing, but instead just rams his testicles straight into the corner. <laughs> it's just, um, mate, it's yeah. properly funny. Peacock then gets a backslide. And there is a lot of applause for him here. People are beginning to go, well, he's the wrestler. 
Cat Weasel is Cat Weasel and we love him. But the other guy did good wrestling moves. And it ends with a... I mean, I just imagine this set has been done up and down the country for years, but they're running the ropes and they're going at quite a good, fair pelt here. Cat Weasel keeps getting tired. They keep restarting it. But there's an end section where Cat Weasel boots Peek up, up the arse. He tickles his bum hole. He then gets down, offers his own bum for a kick. <laughs> he moves. Peacock falls on the floor and he gets pinned. And it's done so fast and so beautiful. <laughs> beautifully that i was like if it wasn't for the fact that it's all about trying to kick someone up the hole this is a <laughs> great moment in sporting history <laughs> um, and one minute 25 seconds of the fifth round the winner cat weasel i did get to the end of it and think you know there is something about this which is it's timeless clowning that you could have put this on in the 11th century yeah. and i think you would have got a similar reaction as you did in the 1980s and that you did when we watched it in 2023 and i think that that's one of the reasons that even when you watch cat weasel and you go he's creepy and he looks like stick man from the children's book stick man and he looks like he stinks of like off rancid milk and he's <laughs> lost all his teeth before he's 40 you do look at it and you go there is something a little bit magic yeah. about what you did there yeah and that is the beauty of cat weasel <laughs> pete isn't it delightful to be back in the gloomy rings of world of sport <laughs> it certainly is and also those little adverts that come on in between the clips where i can't remember even remember what um, channel it was taken from but the yeah, world it was sport on, this one is the, the wrestling channel the weirdest thing for me in the adverts there was an advert for capital one where there's a yes. bloke trying to order and there's a woodpecker pecking on his head yeah. and i know all three men in that advert <laughs> yeah, brilliant there's the actor rufus jones there's colin holt and there's james who used to be in the consultants <laughs> as a sketch group <laughs> and it was really odd watching it and just going this is like a group of people that I'm friends with uh, there's, there, there's also Christ. an advert for a PC magazine that helps people uh, use their PC better and my dad you know electrical engineer from the, the 70s and 80s like he knows how to work a computer but he bought every single PC start. <laughs> Get better at PC. Yeah. Windows Guide magazines from Dewey Smith. He bought every last one. And they all said the same thing. Huh, how to access your documents in uh, Windows 95. And uh, you click on the start uh, button. Yeah, you always click on the start button. Yeah. Always click on the start. But, but there's... So they, 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 you're they, looking to underline in, <laughs> in Lotus. Microsoft. Yes, Lotus. One, two, three. <laughs> but like, the husband tries to get involved on the mouse. And the wife is playfully hitting him on the hand. So get off that mouse. I'm using the computer. Computer, she really fucking hits him. Really <laughs> hits. I don't so blame unnecessary. Her. Hey. Hey. I would say one of the most intrusive things you can do is when you're like at work and someone just leans over and says, let me just, and they take control of your mouse. And it's it, it's literally like they've grabbed your ass. Yeah. And, you I, know, I, it's, I, it's absolutely, you have to just sit there like a child. Okay, I would, like, yeah, I would insist on, if someone kept doing that, I would move to, you know, those trackballs used to use. You know, back in yeah. the days in arcades, you get to play that golf yep. game where you're on Magic Tea or whatever it's called. Um, I would pick up the mouse ball and just smash them, smash them in the head. <laughs> with it put it in my sock and whiz it around my head <laughs> popping it out lobbing it and try and catch it as it bangs off their skull oh mate it's so invasive but here's someone talking about cat weasel uh, a guy called al marshall who was a friend of his and he, he's one of the few people who gives you a little bit of insight into the man behind the disgusting gimmick um <laughs> he was nicknamed chuffer because he always said chuffing this and chuffing that rather than swearing. <laughs> he was a great wrestler. He had to be to play the fool so well. He was original and there will only ever be one cat weasel. Well, true that. I mean, absolutely not true, is it? I mean, there were <laughs> definitely two because he nicked <laughs> he it nicked off cat, cat weasel. weasel. Yeah, good point, actually, yeah. <laughs> he really <laughs> is. Hello, I'm Pete from WrestleMe. Hello, I'm Mark from WrestleMe. That was a nice salute. Uh, we are can be found over on our Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash WrestleMe. Uh, you get weekly podcasts, a monthly fantastic newsletter that's absolutely gigantic. It's ginormous. You get weekly podcasts advert free and you also get these videos advert free. It's Patreon.com forward slash WrestleMe. We've done loads of stuff there. So go and look at it. There's loads. <laughs>